hey there you're welcome back to our youtube channel today i'm going to show you how you can save time and effort when it comes to extracting references from research papers so you might ask why should i care about extracting references from papers or why do i need to extract references from papers yeah that's a good question probably you might be working on a research and some of the references or some of the literature you you consulted or you use a particular paper stands out in all of these uh, literature you consulted and you make almost all the references in the paper. Assuming you're working on a similar topic as the, t as, the, as, the, as the topic of the paper on the screen and you find yourself making use of almost all the references used by this paper. So for you to get that references to your library, you have, actually you have a lot of ways you can do it, but all of the options are not really really saving your time they are they are tedious and they are time consuming so one of the most common way you can do is is to copy each of the references assuming that you have this paper makers of 61 references and you use like 50 of these references 50 references from this paper so how do you get them into your library i expect that you are not using uh you are not doing manual referencing so if you are doing manual referencing you can just copy each of these references and just paste into your Microsoft Word, which is not a, a smart way. And even you cannot do that. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you should not do that because when it comes to changing of that reference into another style, that is going to be a very big challenge. Yeah. So traditional way you can do it is to copy each of these references and go to Google Scholar, paste this reference and add the reference into your library one after the other, making use of the Google, uh, uh, Google co uh, Google plugin of a particular citation library you are tool you are using. So Google Chrome uh, has a, a plugin for either Zotero and Note Mendeley, meaning that you can add paper from your browser into your library straight away. But you have to do this one after the other, one after the other, which is not cool. But what if I told you that there's a there's a tool that can help you extract all these references, not even those you those were not only the one you have used, but all the references from a paper. That is, we can extract all these 61 references and add them into our library in just a few clicks. Are you excited? So let's give it a try. The tool you are going to make use is known as Citation Chaser. Citation Chaser. I don't know if you've had it before. Is it Citation Chaser? So you can, I will, I will, I will, uh, the, the, the link is found in the, you are going to see the link in the description below. And as well, you can just go to your Google Chrome or any browser you are making use, you are using. So just type in citation chaser. All right. So you should over down, you should scroll down and see, you could see this shinyapps.io. So this is where we are coming to. The, the link, I will, I, will, I will include the link in the description below. So do well. You can click the link straight away from the description. So you click on Shiny Apps. So the tool we are making use of is Citation Chaser. This Citation Chaser is uh, developed by this, uh, uh, by this, uh, by this uh, software, Shiny Apps. It's pretty easy. This is, ch this is citation, uh, citation Chaser. What you, this is, this, this is the interface, very simple. Where you are going to is this tab, article input. You only need the DOI of that particular paper you want to extract all the references from. You only need the DOI as well. You can also make use of the PMID if that paper is found in PubMed or PubMed Central. So all these just, uh, don't disturb yourself. You only need the DOI every, Publish paper as a dig2 object identifier for the paper for the for this paper I'm making use. So let assuming that I want to extract all the references from this paper. This is DOI. So every paper has a DOI dig2 object identifier. So you just copy it, alight and copy. So it might not be paper in your library. It might be paper in elsewhere or in Google Scholar. Just get the DOI, then you paste it here. Once you are in Citation Chaser over onto this tab article inputs input your citation uh your doi another interesting thing is that you can extract references for more than for, for for 20 papers at a time meaning that you don't have to extract references for a paper one after the other what you just need to do is to 
press enter and input uh input another doi press enter input another doi until the number of papers you want to extract their references is completed so once you input the doi click on load my input articles so citation chaser is going to look around to see to look for the you could see this this this, this is the article in my library all cited therapies for malaria you could see this is the paper so citation chaser has uh explore online and look for the paper this is the paper we want to extract the references the next step is to go to these uh references to get your paper into uh, citation chaser you are going to make use of this tab article input but to get the references you are going to come to this tab references then you click on this search for all reference articles in lens.org just uh don't disturb yourself with all the english just is to input the uh the art the doi then you come to this uh to this tab and, cl and click on search for all reference articles in lens.org so take a seat and let citation chaser do the work oh you could see citation chaser is able to get all the references in our paper 58 references 58 references even though this paper contains 61 references the remaining uh three references not included are not uh citation chaser is unable to get them online so that's the that's limitation but yeah uh, uh, in 61 references you are able to get which eight there's high likelihood that all the references you make use will be contained in those uh in those references returned by citation chaser this is very cool the next thing is how can we add all these references into a library we are adding 58 references into a library just straight away how do we do that you go and click on download and our is file so you you download the file once you download the file you are going to add this file into your citation library every citation library support this how is file just like csv or bip test so let's go to my citation library which is zotero so what how you are going to do that is to click on file import so if you are using endnote at your own end or mendeley and if assuming and if uh, probably you don't know how to make use of any of these uh citation tool check the link in the description below to learn about how to make use of zotero uh, endnote and mendeley a very comprehensive course by the atlanta research academy you'll be glad that you enroll in the course very comprehensive has been taken by over 80 students including lecturers and other uh, and students undergrad and postgrad so do where to check the course but at my own end i'm making use of zotero i'll click on file import then click on next you will see a a file zotero is asking which what do you want to import so i'm importing a file which is the file can be bip test rs for the file we are making bringing on board is rs so click on next then you explore the uh where you explore the downloaded uh where, where you can where you download the file so this is my download folder so i'll click on references you can see the date you click open so zotel was asking me should i place the imported collection and item to new collection yes just click next and let zotel do the work great that's that, that that's really amazing you can see these references we imported all the references in this paper all the 58 58 references from this paper has been imported into my library then i can go to word document and start inputting each of these references to their uh to the appropriate position just easy you don't need to copy and paste e copy each of the references and look for uh to google scholar and add it to your library one after the other for 60 that's really bad yeah that's really tedious i hope you enjoyed this video so fuck folks this is how you can make use of citation chaser to look to extract references from any research article Citation chaser is the solution to your reference extraction problem it saves time and effort improve your accuracy and organize your references in a way that makes sense to you I hope you are going to give Citation uh, Chaser a try and see the difference for yourself. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and if you are just joining us on this channel, kindly subscribe to this uh, 
channel. Thanks for watching. Until next video, I will catch you.